Like I keep it cool, but keep it cute at the same time. All right, yeah. all right. Show them that you that bitch. You right. I am that bitch. <laughs> It's your girl J Diggity with the Fliggity Schniggity, and I'm back with another mother freaking video. So, as you guys can see by the title below, this is just gonna be a little vloggy vlog of me and my boyfriend Bless going out. Um, if you are new to my channel, hey, what's good, y'all? My name is Jay. I am from upstate New York, 21 years old, and I decided to move to Charlotte, North Carolina to truly begin my journey into adulthood. And if you would like to know anything else about me as a person, definitely make sure you guys check out some of my past videos. The links to them will be popping up throughout this video, and we're gonna have some links in the description below. So check those out but yeah today me and my boyfriend bless we have a couple things planned um we are going to be going to this farmer's market we are going to be going to a library we have a couple books that we want to start reading and we are actually on our way now to a place called tupelo honey it is a very good breakfast spot that we have been before but i never really vlogged it so yeah we are going to be on our way there they have some great fish and grits or no they have some good shrimp and grits, and we are actually going to be riding some scooters down to the location. It is in downtown Charlotte, and if you know anything about downtown Charlotte, the parking there is crazy, and it's also a Saturday, so we're not really trying to get too much into that, so we're gonna try to find some scooters, and then we're going to go to Tupelo Honey. All right, y'all, so we are outside now, and we are about to look on the little scooter app scooter app is called lime and we about to find out where the nearest scooter is the app literally shows you where the scooters are how much battery charge is on there how long of a walk it is to get to the scooter and we're actually able to reserve a scooter um for 10 minutes for free so yeah bless is over here pointing at me and telling me that there's a scooter up the street so i'm guessing that there are some <laughs> I'm guessing that there are some um, close. For some reason, my app is acting like kind of weird. So yeah, let's find the scooters. All right, y'all. So before we get too far into this, we're gonna do a little fit check for y'all. Hold on, let me wipe off my camera. Yeah, here we go. We're gonna do a little fit check for y'all. First is gonna be Wessie. We're gonna see what he wearing. And then, you know, my drip saved the best for last. I got some drip on today. So yeah, come here, Wes, cause he's trying to walk away. This is his fit. Saint something. Okay. Somebody was looking to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just some little light shit. It's, some light. Mm, it's hot out here, you know what I'm saying? It's just something. Some. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> All right, so this is my fit, y'all. Let's get the little details. Yeah. Got mm -hmm. this from my little Virginia trip. If y'all didn't check out my Virginia vlog, mm -hmm. definitely make sure y'all check that out. But yeah. It's something light, but you know what I'm saying? Trying to be a little swaggy today. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It's 90 something degrees out here, so gotta keep it cool, but keep it cute at the same time. All right. Yeah. All right. All right, y'all. So we had to step in the shade because it's real hot. But um, yeah, we just reserved some scooters and we're literally like real close to them. We seen one of them, but we can't find the other one just yet. So bear with us. We trying to find out where the second scooter is. So these are the scooters, yay. Mine is back here. And what you do is you scan like the little barcode thing um, on the app. If you can even see my screen, probably can't. But yeah, we're just going to scan the little barcodes on the scooters and then start riding. Yeah. On the scooters. We on our way to Tupelo Honey. It's downtown. So we got a little journey. We're gonna update y'all and see how it go. Alright, y'all. So stopped at this place. I think it's called the market. Yeah, it's called the market at 7th Street. Um, we usually come here for like our waffles. If you have seen my last vlog about me getting my new phone, you guys will know they have some dope waffles. I think the place is called Sweet Crunch. It's inside of this place right back here. Um, but yeah, we just took like a little stop. Um, this ride was a little bit longer than what I had thought, but 
you know, we're going to keep on pushing, try to find out exactly where Tupelo Honey is, and then right there. So, yeah, very fun, good vibes. Yeah, I'll see y'all at Tupelo Honey. All right, y'all, so we are currently at like the little bus station in Charlotte, and um, we were up there and we had to like cross some railroad tracks and the navigations took us literally inside of the bus station so we were on our scooters we went through the little elevator and everything we're just still trying to make our way to Tapello. so yeah all right y'all so after maneuvering through all the traffic we made it to Tapello, honey um and as we were riding we see a lot of like guys mainly in like purple and like gold so i'm guessing it's some type of like fraternity thing going on down here as well so this seems pretty cool from what it looks like in there it looks like it's pretty packed so we may have to wait to even get a seat but you never know so let's get in there and see all right y'all so we went in there and it was a hour wait. We put our names on a list, so we'll just see. Did you give them your your number? Mm -hmm. Okay, well yeah, they'll call us and let us know when the reservation is ready. But now we're gonna try and find a place where we could sit inside and just like wait. There was like this little hotel place that had like, just like a cute little like dining area and stuff like that. So. y'all right, so we made it to the hotel the hotel was the Marriott and this is actually where the fraternity little function is going on so there's a lot of like people here um, especially the African Americans it's definitely a, like an African American fraternity I don't really know exactly what it's called what's you remember what the guy said uh, the fraternity was like Omega Sci-Fi and it was like a concave event or something I don't know so yeah um it seems pretty cool though i looked it up and i guess yesterday they had like a step show and today i guess it's like just where they do like their vendors and stuff like that and um you need a ticket to get in it's like 11 dollars to get in there that's not really what the plan was today so i'm pretty sure that's not gonna be the move but it's kind of cool just to see that little stuff like that is going on within charlotte yeah we still waiting for that little message but we sitting, just chilling. Some nice like little seating areas. There's a bar back there. And it's just a couple other people sitting in here chilling as well. So hopefully we could just get this food and then we are going to be heading to the farmer's market after this. So yeah. Right, so we just got out of Tupelo and that food was A1 day one. We had the Tupelo shrimp and grits and we also had some like potatoes. What was the potatoes called? You remember Wesley? Nah, it was like some rosemary and garlic crackling or something. Well yeah, y'all seen what it looked like. It looked good and it tastes good. Definitely 10 out of 10. Definitely recommend. If you ever come down to Charlotte or if you live in Charlotte, never been to Tupelo, honey, this is your sign to get it. Of course, it was a little pricey, but hey, your stomach wants what the stomach wants, okay? We found our school. 
All right, y'all. We are back home. Now we are just like, just taking a little break. <laughs> because the sun was definitely very like draining. Just like being outside and stuff. Although like, of course, the vibe was great. We cut the little breeze while riding the scooters. It was real nice. And it would actually seem like it was quicker coming home than going there. So yeah, we are just home right now, chilling. I actually just posted my little lock styling video. If you guys could tell, my hair is a little different. Um, in this video, I put like some weave in it and stuff like that. And I have a tutorial showing you guys exactly how I did it and where I got the inspiration from. So if you have not already checked that video out and you really feeling the vibes, feeling the hair and stuff like that, check it out link in the description it will be popped up it will be everywhere i definitely gotta take some pictures today i feel like i'm looking real swaggy so i'll update y'all a little bit later all right y'all so um i kind of did a little something different to my hair like i tried to do it's kind of like the same type of style but like i put a little extra vavoom at the end <laughs> but now we are on our way to barnes and nobles um the library actually closed at 5 and the time is now 5 10 so as you can tell we're not really that great on time but yeah we're going to barnes and noble we're going to look at some books and then yeah we don't really know what else is like planned for the rest of the day but we may um go to the mall because there's a mall right next to barnes and noble so we'll see All right, y'all, we made it to Barnes & Noble. This is the Barnes & Noble in South Park. It's next to the South Park Mall. I accidentally left my list of books at home. I'm gonna try and like go through my purse again because I tried to make sure I put it in my purse, but it may have like fallen out when we went back to the house. So I'm gonna try and find this list and see which one of the books are actually here see how much the books are hopefully have a good read by the time i get back home so stay tuned so i tried looking through my purse unfortunately i could not find the list of the books that i wanted um again they pretty much probably just fell out somewhere but um just gonna give you guys a little idea of the kind of books that I was looking for so it was mainly books that was like helping like mentality and like helping like bodily things and more like health and wellness like this type of section so that's why I'm here um, the little health and wellness section trying to just see I know um, a couple of the books also were like about spirituality and things like that um, one of the books that I remember which is the only book I remember is like the four the four elements I believe and I don't think that's here in the health and wellness section anyways I don't think that's here in the health and wellness section but we'll see I'm just gonna keep looking around and just seeing So y'all, I'm in the personal growth section. I didn't even know they had a personal growth section, but um, I'm pretty sure that's where the majority of the books that I had lists of are in. And I believe this was one of the books. The Book of Secrets. Um, it says, unlock the hidden dimensions of your life. And it was the New York Times bestseller by Bipak Ch Chopra. <laughs> yeah I believe that this was one of the books so I'm gonna like take a look at it and see what it's about but yeah kind of excited all right y'all so unfortunately bless was not able to find his book in stores yeah he's gonna be like missing out on getting a book but I go ahead explain it go ahead get the camera on my face oh okay anyways yeah I have my book I decided to go through with it and get this book. Um, it is 
15 Zala. But I feel like it's a good little investment. Helps grow the mind, expand the mind, um, feeds the soul. So yeah, but we'll see what else today has in store. All right, y'all. So got my book. Now we are going to the mall. Anything you want to say? Exactly. Ooh, yeah, you. Nah, I'm good. Oh. I so, <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyways, yes, now we are at the mall. We are at South Park Mall. We're at like the rooftop. That's why the baby about to win the Oh, nah, that baby ain't got nothing to do with me. So, yeah, we're at like the little rooftop, little entrance. We parked all the way up top. And uh, he just being funny, y'all. I hope that you all heard everything that he just said. Yeah, we're going in through Belk. Um, I didn't even know what Belk was until we actually like came here. I came down to South Carolina. It's kind of like a Macy's or like a JCPenney, but like a kind of more expensive version. So yeah, just walking around, not even gonna get nothing. Just trying to be cute. <laughs> y'all right, so now we are out of the mall um it was a real good time we looked at a lot of stuff real cute but after like we walked around we kind of sat for a little bit and i was thinking let me look at these um past youtube videos that i watched that i got the recommendations for for the books and when i tell you i looked through all of the videos and none of them mentioned this book that i just bought I'm low key stressed, but I'm not really that stressed just because this book, it seems like it's real cool. It looks real cute. It's just not the book that I thought everybody was talking about and that I put down on my original list that I told you about earlier. So I'm really just debating on if I want to keep the book or return it, if I even can return the book. I guess um, the book that everybody else was talking about was called The Secret. Like it was just The Secret. That was it. Um, and this book that I have is called The Book of Secrets. So, I don't know. Maybe it was just the illustration and everything that really caught my eye as well. But anyways, right now, um, we are going to be on our way to South End. We're just going to be chilling down there. We are going to, like, try to take some pictures. Y'all already know I feel like I, I'm a little dripped out today. Not, like, a little light drip, but I feel like I'm a little dripped out today. So um, definitely got to make sure we take some pictures and then we're going to be going to Blaze Pizza. Now Blaze Pizza is a place where you can make your own pizza and I've low-key been trying to be like on a little healthier type of food regimen when it comes to just eating in general. So feel like I um, be decking my pizzas out, make sure I be having spinach, make sure I have my mushrooms, my peppers and stuff on there. So kind of can't wait. But yeah, that's what we're doing right now. So I'll update you guys later. Right, y'all so your girl got her pizza bless got his pizza and that pretty much is going to conclude the rest of this day um first i'm going to tell y'all what i got on my pizza um i already showed y'all kind of like how they put it together but i got the regular red sauce i got extra cheese i got blue cheese i got pepperoni mushrooms spinach and peppers salt and oregano on it and then they um put some um, pesto oil on top olive oil as well so i'm gonna show y'all what it's looking like
and also um the girls that were making my pizza they noticed that i was filming um i always try to inform people like when i record them doing or like making my food or anything i just tell them like just so you know i'm about to record you making the sandwich but i'm not gonna have like your face in it or anything and she was like no that's fine and then she was like oh you do youtube and then another girl she asked yeah do you do youtube i was like yes i document my journey i'm from upstate new york 21 years old blah 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 blah, blah. and then i wrote my um youtube and my instagram on a receipt paper because they asked for um my youtube i just splashed my little instagram in there just in case but um <laughs> yeah shout out to y'all if y'all watching this hey girl hey but um yeah a good little experience a good day overall um definitely had a lot of fun and if you guys enjoyed this video definitely make sure you guys comment down below um if you haven't already definitely make sure you guys smash that like button smash that subscribe button also if you guys don't have me on any of your socials definitely make sure you guys add me on instagram tiktok twitter and even facebook the links to them will be in the description below and they will be seen right here but I'm done talking, so I'll see you guys in my next video.